Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Anniken and this is episode 58 of the Confessions for Jan Addict podcast. You may actually think I look the same as I did in the last episode and that's because I'm filming this at the same time. So I've got a really busy week. It's Monday today and i got so much going on this week. I'm leaving for um, to visit my parents in Norway at the end of the week and it's my birthday this week and uh, Wednesdays I don't tend to work a lot because I have Pilates in the middle of the day so I am working today Monday I'm working tomorrow and then I'm working like a couple hours on Wednesday then I'm working probably half a day on Thursday which is my birthday and then I'm not working on Friday uh, because we're going to see my daughters in Wales and then on Saturday I'm going to Norway to see my parents so a really busy week. I have two deadlines this week, two design deadlines. I'm preparing for autumn workshops. So I've got some stuff I need to finish for that. I need to cast some for a new design to take to Norway with me. I have a deadline after I get back from Norway, which I need to cast on and get started on this week so that when I come back from Norway, I can just pick it up and get cracking with the knitting. Um, so lots of stuff going on. Uh, and then also one of the designs for this deadline after I get back from Norway, the designs come back from a sample knitter, so I need to knit on the neckband and block it, which would be nice to I don't have to do that before I go to Norway, but it would be nice to do it. So I've got loads of stuff going on this week. So I thought I would do a little vlog and take you along with me and show you some of the things that is happening. Some of the stuff I can't show you details, the stuff about the magazine designs, I've got to be careful. I can't show you the details. Um, I can give you a little sneak peek. Um, so yes, we'll see how this vlog goes. I'm actually today, I'm going to do loads of pattern writing. I'm going to block the shawl, walk the dog. It's raining, so I probably won't film walking the dog. I've already worked out this morning and I'm going to film a podcast episode, uh, which is why I am wearing the same top as I did in the last episode, because the podcast I'm filming at today will go out before this video. I was going to pack for going to Norway. I'll show you what knitting I'm taking with me and what I pack what kind of knitting notions and things I take with me and how I pack that. Um, and I may also actually, on th I'm going to pack on Thursday, I think. Uh, I may actually film a packing video. Do you like watching packing videos on YouTube? I've been watching loads of packing videos lately. I'm traveling with hand luggage only, which I mainly do, um, especially for a short trip. So I will show you how I, I might do a packing video. We'll see. Um, so yeah, lots of stuff happening this week. So I thought I would take you along with me. I hope you enjoyed this. I haven't done like a vlog that goes over several days before. So we'll see how that works out. But I hope you enjoy it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And please leave me a comment and let me know what you think about this video. And I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you're new here, welcome. I hope you stick around and subscribe. And if you are returning the youth, thank you very much for coming back. I really appreciate your time. So enjoy this video.
so I've now blocked this it's obviously still quite wet so I'm going to leave it on the windowsill there's a bit of a sunny spot on the windowsill so I'm going to put it on there to dry and then every so often I'm going to have to move it turn it over because um it's not going to dry on one side if I leave it on that side so every so often I'll just turn it over if it was uh, guaranteed to be sunny this, this afternoon I would probably hang it on the washing line um just kind of clip it to this bit um but it keeps raining so i don't want to do that so i'm going to put it on the windowsill because there is a bit of a sunny spot there and then i'll try every time i come into the room to just turn it over so that it dries evenly on both sides when you actually finish knitting the cover it does look like it's a little bit too small it's actually slightly narrower than the actual water hot water bottle but it does relax a lot once you've um, given it a bit of a wash. Now, I'm not 100% happy up here. I'm just looking at this. Can you see how these stitches here up here are a bit loose? Down here they're okay, but up here they're a bit loose. So I may need to fix that. I'll see what it's like once it's dry. Also, I think I made this rib a little bit too long. Um, I did. I'm sure I did 50 rounds on the other one. That I made uh, but this one's a bit too long so I may undo a few rounds or I may just fold it up like that um, and then adjust the pattern I think probably 45 rounds or maybe even 40 rounds will be enough but I'm making one more uh, hot water bottle cover so I can check any <laughs> changes on that so I'm going to leave this to dry now So the next job I need to do today is the wind some yarn. This is for a design that's due in early October, I think it is. Um, and I won't be casting on for it till I come back from Norway. But I want to knit the swatch just so I've got it all ready to go when I come back from Norway. If I have time, I would like to actually write the pattern before I go to Norway. But I don't think I'm going to have time to do that. So I'm going to... Um, wind the yarn, knit the swatch and then um, have that kind of on in my diary ready to write a pattern the day after I come back from Norway probably. I do have another design which I need to finish first when I get back from Norway before I can finish this one so um, it's not a big deal if I can't start it before I go but I need to crack on with it. When I come back from Norway I actually have four weeks till the um, design is due which is plenty of time um, but I want to wind the yeah, so I can do some swatching before I go to Norway. Just so I'm ready to write a pattern for when I come back. I do have a review on my YouTube channel of this setup. So it's the Nipro um, Swift and the Nipro Ball Winder. Um, I do have a, a video on my website showing how I use it and what I think about it. Um, that's what it looks like. Um, so I will link that below this video.
let's take a look at the knitting I'm taking with me. Um, the brioche cow, where is it? This one that I showed off in the last episode, if you watch that. Um, I knitted that in a mini set uh, from another dyer from uh, Yarn Unique. And I've decided I want to knit it up in a mini set from Models of Uruguay that I actually sell in my shop. So I cast on and I've knitted um, a few rounds. So I've done the Mobius cast on and I've knitted a few rounds. And the fun thing about uh, Mobius is that you knit in two directions at the same time. So you're knitting that way and that way at the same time. So the needle goes all the way around in kind of like a figure of eight. If you take a figure eight and put it together. <laughs> I'm not going to knit any more of this uh, till I leave. That's going to be my main project while I'm away. I am also taking one of the hot water bottle covers, um, a new one, um, but I haven't cast on for that. So I no point showing you that because there's not much to see. There is a chance that might come out. Um, depends on what I end up sticking in my suitcase last minute. And then I'm taking my glow stick socks from All Wool That Ends Wool that I cast on at the Summer Wool Festival earlier in the summer. I've got five rounds. Yes, I've got five rounds left to do on the leg, five rounds of rib, and then the heel on the first sock. So I'm going to try and do that in the car tomorrow when we're driving up to Wales um, and then cast them for the second sock and then I'll probably knit on that in the car on the way to Stansted when I'm not driving and at the airport and on the plane I'll probably knit on the brioche because that's easy enough to knit at the airport but I have to look at it too much to knit on that in the car. And then all my notions basically fit in here. Oh, I didn't bring that. I have my little tin. I have a tin that's about that big, which has like all my stitch markers, scissors, um, sewing needle, a tape measure, all that kind of stuff in it. But I forgot to bring that and I don't think I can find it. Um, there's a random lip balm in here. I'm taking this notebook, which is basically my sketchbook because one magazine is already sent out a call for designs and I think another one might do. So this is just there's a sketchbook. My sketches are very, very basic. So I'm taking that just in case. Well, I will need it because I will be working on some designs on Monday and Tuesday. And then I've got some pens in here and pencil. Um, got a rubber or a razor, depending on where you're from. In UK, we call it rubber. In the States, it's a razor and rubber means something very different. A spare row counter from Clover. Um, one of these which is like a tube that you can pull your needles through, uh, stitches through, and that holds the stitches. A few cables, uh, Nipro cables, Lucky cables, a higher, higher 2.75 millimeters, so 2.5 millimeter circular needle, spare needle for my socks if I need it, um, and some needle tips. The needle tips, I've separated them from the cables. I've taken needle tips in the sizes that I my projects are on and some spare sizes because of the fact that I assumed I would be working on some new design ideas while I was away. My mum has loads of needles as well, so I can always borrow some of hers. But these all fit into this little mesh bag. I can see quite easily what I've got and access that quite easily. I'm also taking a really tiny A5 notebook which has squared paper in it. Normally when I work on new designs I chart it out in a A5 squared notebook um, but I'm not taking that with me because it's a bit bigger. So I'm taking an A5 did I say A5 before? A6. So normally I use an A5 I'm taking an A6 a uh, little tiny notebook just to make if I need to make any notes um, and to chart anything out that I need to when I work on these design submissions. So that's it. That's all I'm taking. Oh, and I'm taking one of my tiny scales like that. It's not this one. I have another one with the actual lid on it. This one's broken. Um, I'm taking that just so I can weigh small amounts of yarn because that comes in useful. And I think there's a Oh, there's a needle gauge in here as well. So if I need to check any needle sizes, I can do that. So I'm not taking a lot in terms of notions, just this one and a little tin that's about that big.
we picked lots of apples yesterday from the garden. Um, we had loads and loads and loads of apples. And Simon's has just been chopping them all up. And I've already made one apple pie and put it in the oven and I'm just cooking some more apple to put in another apple pie. Now I don't use any recipe and I wish I had a bit of cinnamon because I'm sure I put a bit of cinnamon in it. But I'm basically just cooking the apples with a tiny bit of water and a tiny bit of sugar. I've not put too much sugar in because they are quite sweet. Um, so let me just show you what's happening. So that's... Um, cooking. This one's been cooking longer so it was nearly to the top actually. Um, so they, I cooked them till they start to kind of fall apart a bit but not completely like mushed. And then this one has been in there for a little bit less. And that's the consistency I kind of make my apples. There's still some um, pieces left that are quite soft and the rest is almost like apple sauce, I guess. So that's one that's ready. I'm just waiting for some more filling um, to go in there before I put the lid on and put it in the oven. And now I don't make my own pastry, I buy um, pastry. So it is Thursday morning and the last day of this vlog. I didn't actually film much yesterday because it was quite a busy day. I had Pilates yesterday so I was, and then I ran some errands afterwards which ended up taking twice as long as I should have done because of queues and things not being ready like my prescription. Um, so I didn't feel much yesterday, um, it was quite a busy day, did a little bit of work in the morning, bought the dog, went to Pilates, ran some errands, went to visit, came back, did some work, went to visit my mother-in-law and came back and oh we made apple pies. Um, so yeah, Simon chopped all the apples while I edited a video really quickly and then I made some apple pies. When I say I make apple pies, I cook the apple mixture and I rolled out the pastry because I'm not making pastry. I did that once many years ago and never again. Anyway, today's packing day. Um, we're leaving for uh, Wales tomorrow afternoon and then we're staying there overnight with my daughters and then my oldest daughter and I are driving up to Stansted on uh, Saturday. So I need to think about what I'm going to wear on Saturday and pack that in a separate bag. So I have a separate bag here. I need to iron the top I'm going to wear. I was going to wear jeans but it looks like it's going to be quite warm uh, on Saturday so I'm going to wear leggings and then a long black t-shirt. It's like a t-shirt dress but that needs ironing. So I've got that in here. I've got a nighty for Friday night, underwear for Saturday. That's all going in this separate bag and then the clothes I wear tomorrow when I take them off I'll put those in here, take out the clothes I'm wearing um, on Saturday and then I'll pop this back in our car because we're taking my daughter's car to the airport so I'll pop this back in our car so when my husband comes home he won't forget it because he has left his bag he's left his weekend bag with my daughter's before once he went on, up on his own so I'm not trusting him to bring my bag back so I'll pop that back in our car um, when we leave so I'm going to pack and um, then walk the dog I wasn't sure to actually edit and release this uh, vlog because it feels like a little bit chaotic um, partly because I filmed a bit the first day, filmed a bit, a tiny bit yesterday and a bit today but I haven't kind of done much like talking to camera but I decided I'm going to edit it and release it um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it is now Thursday afternoon, it's actually my birthday today uh, but I've been working all day. Uh, we are going up to see the girls tomorrow so we will go out for a meal then. Um, I managed to dry this one 
that is dry now and I am much happier with it I do have some of these stitches are a little bit big up here um that can happen sometimes in stranded color work when you have just one stitch in one color you can sometimes end up a little bit uneven and all you need to do if you want to adjust it is to go on the back and like pull on the floats so i might do that but i'm not going to do that till i get back from norway just because i haven't got time and then this here there's like that green one is a bit small so i might just do that when i get back from norway just to make it look a bit more perfect um it's not a big deal depends on how fast you are but um i might do that when i get back from norway but i'm not doing anything more with these now because i just haven't got time do also need to pull out some yarn because as predicted one of the magazines that i designed for have sent out a call for new designs and it's with two issues for next year um so i need to work on that i haven't got time to work on it before i go um i don't really think because i've only got this evening and a little bit of time tomorrow morning and it does take time to knit all the swatches and put it all together so i think i'm going to have a look and see if i have any suitable yarn for the color themes and things that they're going for and then take that with me it will just be like tiny small balls i don't need like a full ball um and then i can work on that on sunday and monday and try and get it to them by tuesday uh, so that's my plan and then whatever i have left over of that yarn i can always just leave it in norway and then the other magazine that i thought would send out a call for designs i'm kind of ex half expecting that next week hoping it'll be the week after when i'm back but i'm kind of expecting it next week so uh, i've packed today managed to do up my suitcase eventually um work out what knitting i'm taking i will do a bit of vlogging while i'm in norway i'm going to a knitting show a knitters market is a day event it's not a huge event um but it's in oslo so i'm going with my mum um we'll get the train into oslo uh, vanessa and i are planning to go into oslo for a day on the train and hopefully i might be able to sneak in a yarn shop or two then and there are two yarn shops in the town where my parents live and there's another yarn shop in another town we visit quite often so there will be some yarn shop visiting um my suitcase is very full though so i hope you enjoyed this vlog even though it was a little bit um i don't know chaotic maybe hope you enjoyed it um let me know what you think below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing and um i will see you next time thank you for watching